On March 8, a coalition of 12 states sued Biden's administration over a climate executive order, saying it has the potential to severely affect states' economies. The lawsuit was filed by Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt, with other state attorneys general from Arkansas, Arizona, Indiana, Kansas, Montana, Nebraska, Ohio, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Utah. The lawsuit argues that Biden's order violates the separation of powers and could inflict trillions of dollars of damage to the U.S. economy. For example, Biden's executive order on January 20 introduced, quote, social cost to monetize the damages of greenhouse gas emissions to facilitate, quote, sound decision making. The lawsuit argues that offsetting social cost would inflict, quote, hundreds of billions or trillions of dollars of damage to the U.S. economy for decades to come. It will destroy jobs, stifle energy production, strangle America's energy independence, suppress agriculture, deter innovation, and impoverish working families, the lawsuit said. The calculation of social cost by the Biden's administration is also alleged as, quote, arbitrary and capricious, which ignores the benefits of affordable food and energy production. From higher energy bills to lost jobs, this massive expansion of federal regulatory power has the potential to impact nearly every household in this state. That's why today, I'm leading a coalition of states to put a stop to this executive order and protect Missouri families, Schmidt said in a statement. According to the White House, Biden's January 20 order is designed to promote and protect our public health and the environment. Where the federal government has failed to meet that commitment in the past, it must advance environmental justice. The order stated the final social cost of greenhouse gases will be published by January 2022, according to the order.